Welcome to the cutest site on the block video tutorials. This tutorial covers our basic text and image editor. You'll become very familiar with this scene. It's the text and image editor. Um, at the top you'll see a few um, bars that helps you edit the text and format it how you would like. Um, we're going to go ahead and just type in the text field here. If you select your text, you'll be able to, just like you would in any program like Word, Perfect, or anything like that, set it as bold, italic, underlined, align it to the left. So just become familiar with this. Feel free to experiment. You can always hit cancel and it won't save it to your site. Just kind of look over. You can um, do some bullet points or some number points. Kind of helps you with a lot of the um, the pre-formatting. So it saves you a lot of time and um, trying to get it lined up just perfectly. You can always click the undo button. That'll take you back. Undo what you just did, which is always nice. Okay, we're going to take all this away here. This is how you make a link. You type the text, select it, and then you'll see the, this little chain button, the links. You click there, and it'll pop open a, a screen where it'll allow you to put in the full URL just as you would if you were visiting the site. You can choose whether it opens in the same window, or in a new window, or in a new tab, just depending on how you want it. Once you click insert, you'll now see that it's a complete link. It's that easy. Um, and then when you save it on the front end, if anyone clicks those text, they'll go to the site. Now if you see I just clicked the, um, the break a link button. It's right next to the make a link. Um, here's how to format. These are some pre-formatted options for your text. So it kind of um, gives you a bigger font, bolder font, different colors. But with your design, there's some pre-formatted options that you can choose there. You can change the color of the text. Um, pretty much gives you everything that you would need just as far as editing the text on your site. I um, mean, you'll see this both in your shopping cart and on just the regular pages. You can insert page break, breaks or and breakers in there so you can kind of divide things up, makes it nice. Now if you do know how to work in HTML, this is a great thing to use. It's the HTML, just if you click that HTML button, it'll pull up just the straight code. So if there's something specific you do know how to do, it's there for you, but you never actually have to use it if you don't want to. Now this is how to add an image. Click the image button down at the bottom left of the page, and you'll see these are all the images that are available for us to add in the site that we've uploaded already. You can just click the image, hit insert, and it's inserted into your page. You would just click save and it's shown on the front page. We'll go ahead and delete that and go upload and um, upload a new image. Down at the bottom you hit browse and you're now able to search your computer. We'll go ahead and select one that's on our hard drive and hit open. You'll see it listed there. We hit start upload and at the, up at the top it says upload complete. Now we'll scroll through our images and there's the image we just upload. We'll click it, hit insert, and there's the image. Now to edit the properties of this image, you just click it, make sure those little boxes are around it, and go up and hit the image button there at the top that I just clicked. And here's the properties. You can give it an image description and a title. This is good for search engines, um, so it'll know what the image is. You can also set it to a line to the left, and this will give you a little preview of what it'll look like. Like here, um, align it to the baseline, to the top, um, and you can again go and experiment with this and see exactly where it aligns and what you like best. I like the left alignment a lot because it wraps your text right around it or the and right vice alignment versa. too. And vice versa. Now we're going to also show you how to add a padding around the image. Your vertical and horizontal spaces. If you notice here it kind of shows how the 
um, how the text adjusts around it, kind of add some spacing. So you can kind of play with it and see. You can also add a border, just the width, one, two, three, four. All of it starts at one and goes up. It deals with pixels here. As you can see, there's also a spot to change the dimensions. You can also do this after we save it by clicking and dragging the corners of the image. We hit update and here's our image. That pretty much concludes the tutorial on using our WYSIWYG editor.